everybody and welcome back to our vlog. We are in a new office space yeah. and it's super exciting. We have our logo up here and uh, two of the canvases. So we wanted to showcase this for all of you because we are uh, really pumped to bring you into our new space and hope that this is a spot where we can talk more about the vlogs and bring you uh, everything that we are working on. The way scheduling is working right now is I'm on call seven days a week and then I'm off call seven days a week. Eric is 24-7, 365 days Pretty a much. year. <laughs> Pretty much. But so when I went on off call last week on Monday evening, the next morning, a house fire came in. Yeah, so it was pretty crazy. I've been to a lot of fires and never has one started off this way. My wife is a 911 dispatcher and she works graveyard shifts at one of our police departments that we work with. And on her way home into our neighborhood, she noticed a haze of smoke and an odor of structure fire smell. And anybody who's been to a structure fire before knows that it smells a certain way and she knew that's exactly how it smelled like. So when she got home, we jumped in my work truck to go cruise around the neighborhood and see if we could find a problem. And it only took us about 90 seconds to figure out that there was a house on fire just down the street from where we live. Um, so in the spirit of vlogging and, and we knew we were chasing down smoke, I handed her my cell phone and said, just start taking video of everything in case we find something. And we found something. Uh, so from the back of the house, we had a view from a, a street called Mineral Avenue and I could see that all of the windows on the first floor were lit up orange and I could see that it was on fire. So I transmitted a working fire on the radio and was the first one on scene. And you'll get to see how all that unfolds and, and what a first do fire looks like. It's gonna be PI of 10. Start me a working residential structure fire assignment to Windermere Street, Windermere Circle. I'll get you a better address. further down on the cul-de-sac. Right here. Okay. There it is. Like on PIO 10. Single story, single family dwelling. Got a working fire on the Charlie side. Position on the Alpha side will be the offensive strategy in this case. And I'll be switching over to an off. Confirmed residential fire. Confirmed residential fire. Working fire on the Charlie side. You're parked on the Alpha side. We're going to be investigating and going to the fire zone. Engine 11, medic 16, medic 12, battalion chief 1, battalion chief 2, 10 Medcom off 3, confirm residential pressure fire. Yeah, 10, Windermere, Windermere, command, go ahead. Just be advised, this is possibly an intentionally set uh, RP in the area said you turned the gas stove on, set the house on fire, and may still be in the area. Okay, I copy. We've got heavy involvement on the Charlie side, and I'm unable to complete a 360 due to that. And we're probably going to start having exposure problems. Still be in the offensive strategy. I'm working on evacuations. Yeah, I'm working on neighborhood evacuations. How should be
Chief, I got a heavy fire on the Charlie side. Delta One exposure has been evacuated. We need to work on Bravo One. Your priority is going to be exposure protection on Bravo One. Okay, copy. We've got heavy involvement on the Charlie side. Delta One exposure has been evacuated. Priority is Bravo One. You're working on Bravo One evacuation this time. That's all correct. I'm going to take them out here. Cheers, Chief. Copy, break. Connect on. Okay, on. One lady got out. You might want to ask her if there's anybody else. Is everybody out of your house?
by the time I made it on this side of the street, called it in, put my gear, my protective clothing on, and started to evacuate the neighboring homes, the planes at that point were already above the roof line, and they were starting to spread through the trees and bushes on the side of the house. So the fire was rapidly spreading. Um, it's always hard to predict how long it can take until it can get worse, but with the heat that I felt, I'm sure it was only a matter of minutes before we were going to probably start having problems with the neighboring So I had to step out of my role a little bit uh, in the beginning and, and help out with coordinating what was going on and getting information to the crews that responded. And then I slipped back into the PIO role and we did have media, of course, that were interested in the fire, had to do interviews on scene of the fire. And the cause of that still remains under investigation right now. It's an open case. Um, so hopefully we'll have more information that we can share with you soon on that. This past weekend, we had a great opportunity for a training and we want to give you a first-hand look at what that was. Check it out. All right, today is Saturday. Normally, Eric and I are on Monday through Friday, but then also on call. Today is really important because we are using uh, this light rail track in order to train for any sort of large scale incident where there are multiple people injured. And uh, it's really amazing to see all the different agencies that are out here today and making this all happen. Yeah, so the whole premise of this is taking advantage of a brand new light rail spur that comes out of the city of Lone Tree. There's new stations that are gonna be opening soon, but the lines actually aren't in use right now. So RTD, the Regional Transportation District, brought out one of their trains. We simulated that the train hit a pedestrian on the tracks, that the pedestrian is trapped under the train, and because of the braking action, that a bunch of people on the train got injured. So it's a small MCI component. There's EMS that has to be taken care of, and then the technical rescue team is here, and they're practicing what it would be like to lift the train off of a victim. So a very dynamic training exercise and a great opportunity for us at South Metro. Fire over to the ladder, our location, Engine 31. Engine 31. Three! Command engine 31. Two. Engine 31. Engine 31. Copy that MLK, both of those to the scene. We've got two red We want to give a shout out to Kansas City, Missouri Police because their social media unit came by our headquarters and brought us challenge coin in a patch. patch. Super cool. Thanks for stopping by. It was great meeting you. And uh, we look forward to hopefully meeting more people and, and corresponding with you in the future. Thank you so much to all of our subscribers. We are so, we are so excited. Can I talk today? We are so excited um, <laughs> about sharing all of the content uh, that we've put out and seeing what your feedback is. Please, please continue commenting below. We love to interact with all of you and see what you're thinking, what ideas you have for us. And uh, I'm gonna do it again. I think I did it in the first one. Subscribe, hit that subscribe <laughs> button. Please like and share our videos. Um, thank you guys so much again. Eric and I have really enjoyed interacting with all of you. Absolutely. Have an awesome week and we'll see you next time.